Hey guys, what's up? This is Evil Boys here, and today I'm gonna do my deck profile for my Pendulum Magician that I've been playing for about a month now, and I personally think this is possibly the one of the best meta decks going forward, even when Spirals get their leak monster in the form of the real list, because this deck is very good to the fact that it is very, very consistent and whatnot. So yeah, uh, I think this deck, even though when Spiral's getting double helix, I still think this deck is very, very good. And I personally really like playing this deck. So yeah, um, without that being said, I'm just gonna get right down to the profile. So for the monsters, it's the three Skull Crowbat Joker, uh, three Wizomai. Um, Joker and Wizomai is possibly the best opening and starter cards for this deck and if you have both the Joker and the Wizomar it gives you so much pluses, combos and plays that you can do for the deck so yeah um, 3 Joker and 3 three Wizomar uh, 3 Double Aeris cards are really really good it, with this card um, you can uh, apply Double Aeris as a back on the time slot and you can do a lot of OTKs because um, its effect lets you target a Dark Spellcaster and it does double bottle damage, it beat bottles on opponent's monster, and then it itself gets destroyed, which in case you search for a star pentagram or a time pentagram from your deck. Yeah, this guy's really, really good. Um, basically, all the new Mitsuji Pendulums, uh, they, their skill effect, it does something and then it gets destroyed. In the form, well, in the case of Double Iris, um, a dark spellcaster that you targeted with this effect, it deals double bottle damage if it bottles your opponent's monster and then it gets destroyed and then you search for the spell and the trap and in the form of uh, Black Wing Winston, this is uh, my favorite Mr. Pendulum for the deck this card is so good, um, this card lets this deck play around warning and strike because if you about the Pendulum summon like let's say 5 along with the along with this card for the Pendulum Summon and your opponent flips Warning or Strike where this triggers Black Wings back to to especially when a Dark Spike is from your grave so yeah, this card's really really good its skill effect is also really really good which helps deals like huge monster beastic that this deck cannot get rid of by, by battle so yeah, this card's really really good um, I play uh, 3 Power 4 Poison Magician on this card I like it in the deck to the fact that this card is with for gates like Imperial Order and anti spells and whatnot. So yeah, I like this card and its skill effect is nice too. Like if you um Dark Spellcaster or battles on your opponent's monster before damage kill, you can turn on attack and then pop pop person gets power, which will then pop a base up card on the field. So yeah, this card's really really good. Uh, purple poison, double fang, and the double iron they combo very very well together so that you can like OT carry upon it. Um, moving on to the Mitsujin Pendulums uh, 3 Harmonizing Mission. Uh, this is my favorite and personally the best Mitsujin Pendulum uh, coming from the entire deck. Uh, this card is really really good because um, every time you Pendulum summon this card from the hand you spit this summon a Mitsujin Pendulum also from, from your deck so this card alone is an instant level A synchro or a rank 4 play. This card is also an instant Beals, Omega, Ignister, pretty much any rank 4 and a level A synchro. The only downside is that you cannot handle some of this card from the extra deck when this card is in your extra deck. But the Orb Dragon helps with that because if you scale this along with them, another Mission Pendulum, in the other scale, you can get back a Mystician Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, so you can get back a Harmonizing Instance, so you can just reapply Harmonizing Monster's effect, like, turn after turn, and after turn. And a lot of people lot of only play one op Dragon, but I like having two because this card is really good in the late game and the grind game. And you play Desires in the deck, and I, I hate banishing this card above, above Desires because, um... This card is really, really good. And the last mention I play is one uh, White Wing Winston. Um, I play this card because this card combos well with Harmonizing Winston because if this card is in your deck and you about the Pendulum Summon 
permanency mission from your from your deck along with two other missions. That's an that's a double Omega play right there. So yeah, that's the reason why I like White Wing in the deck because double Omega is really really good going first. Uh, so yeah, those are the magician pendulums. Um, uh, two Astro Grab. Um, this card is really really good because during your turn, if you're going first, it combos well with Wisdom Eye because if you have this card uh, in your hand, you can scatter Wisdom Eye, use Wisdom Eye's effect, chain this, spare the summon it, and then get to a another Wisdom Wisdom Eye from your deck. So if, if you do that play, uh, you you can get um. Uh, Wisdom Eye's effect twice because Wisdom's effect is not once per turn. So uh, this guy's really really good. And during your opponent's turn, if you go, if you go first, this is pretty much acts like a ghost or a track. So your opponent cannot OTK you. But uh, this guy's really really good. Uh, two Pandem Sorcerer. Uh, this card is only here so that you can say Joker by popping the Double Iris because if you Pandem summon this this card out. And if you have double iris in your scale, uh, Pendulum Sorcerer Effect Trigger is popping the double iris, which gets you two cards. In this case, you get Joker and the uh, Star Pendulum or the Time Pendulum from your deck. So, yeah, cards really, really good in that region. And the last four monsters are Hand Drives, which are the Three Ash and the Maxi, because you pretty much have to play these four Hand Drives right now. Like, Ash moving forward is like really, really good. Uh, now for the spells is three Dolores Lions. Um, this card such as the Star Pendulum Grab, Time Pendulum Grab, the Pendulum Card, and the Pendulum Sorcerer, so that you can uh, go forward with your plays and combos. So uh, it's pretty much three road up for the deck. Uh, two desires because um you in this deck you 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 wanna have a big 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 hand so that you can. Perform a pendulum summon as big as possible, so part of this is really really good. The star two star pendulum grab. Uh, this guy is really really good because every time a magician pendulum monster is destroyed, you basically search for another one from from your deck, and also you protect your magician skills with cards from cards like Cosmic Cyclone and Twin Twister and MST. So yeah, this guy is really really good. Uh, the one pendulum car. Um, this card is really really good because it searches two more pe Magician Pendulum Monsters from your deck. But I personally don't like it because this is a huge bait to Ash, which gives you a huge neg one for the turn. And even though this card is search out, can be searched out with Dollar Sunnets, I personally don't like it. Many people don't play it. I'm playing it, but I don't, I'm honestly thinking about uh, taking this card out because card is good, but. Right now, I don't really like it at the moment. Uh, the last three spells that I play is probably the most debatable, which are the three Cosmic Cyclones. Okay, um, I do not like Wavering Eyes in the main due to the fact that it is horrible going first. The main reason why you're maining Wavering Eyes in your main deck if you're playing this deck is for the Mirror Match. But if you're not playing the Mirror Match, the three Wavering Eyes in the main instantly become dead whereas the uh, cosmic cyclones is it's a good car versus all the matchups like it's good in the mirror it's good against Drew Draco it's also good against Paleo and Spirals moving forward I still side the three wavering lines in the side deck but I feel like maining cosmics in this deck is very very good because it is just a great car overall and the last two cars in the four, there are trials which are the time pension grab, which are the main reasons why you play this deck. Um, if this guy didn't exist, I'm pretty sure nobody else would play this deck. Like, time pension grab is really, really good. Uh, now for the extra deck is, uh, two, two time star. Um, I like this card. A lot of people play one, but I like having two because this card it searches and recycles your stuff. From, from the grave, extra deck, and also from your deck. So yeah, this card is really, really good. And this card also purchase your Magician Pendulous on the board and in your scale. So card is really, really good. Um, Tornado Dragon, card is really, really good. Uh, one Dweller, card is good too. The Jutopia Package. Um, okay, so um, the, against True Draco, you can either make this or the Dios comboing out with the Harmonizing Mission. 
And if they have a matchup is out, they're forced to pop the tuner. And if they don't pop the tuner, you just make bills. And if they pop the Hermit Machine, well, you just make this and then run over their matchup is. So, Kai is good in that regard. Uh, one Japanese Machine for OTKs and then versus Trickstars, or just make this and laugh because you take no burn damage if you control this card on the board. Uh, one Spring Dragon King, Dark Rebellion for OTKs. Um, this card, um, this card is broken. Uh, Ignister, card is busted in the mirror. Uh, double Omegas, because I play, uh, White, White Wing Magician. Element Paladin, uh, card is really, really good with, uh, Double Iris, Black Fang, and the uh, Purple Poison. In that case, it's mostly, like, gonna, gonna be game because this also burns, and this card also recycles your spells. And the uh, one Deco Tucker, uh, you don't play this card with the Link Sons, you play with the Protection Effect. So yeah, Dex the extra deck and the main, it's a 42 card main total. So yeah, um, I personally really really like like playing this deck and moving forward, I think it's still gonna be a good contender for the meta game. like I said in the beginning of this video. And with that, that being said, I'm just gonna sign out and peace out guys. Peace out. This card. Is very very good. Very, very, very good.